Hey guys, so um, I had this idea for a video. I was gonna do a run and uh, I had something to say, <laughs> but um, I recorded it for about 10 minutes, turned it over, phone back over because I was trying to film with the back of my camera, which is, it has stability control, which is really cool. Um, and I turned it over and I wasn't recording. So I just got back from my run. I don't have a video for you today. I have a couple in the works, but they're not ready to put out today. So I'm gonna do a quick uh, body weight workout but today is going to be isometric. So pretty cool because this is one that you can also do with your kids. I, I find it really um, beneficial to do isometrics with your kids um, first before we start doing anything else. So when I'm training athletes, a lot of times it's pull up holds, push up holds, plank holds, even row holds, squat holds, things like that for your kids. It's also really good for you because we don't really do a lot of that our, ourselves. So we're going to do that really quick. Um, for you guys. Again, I'm trying to keep it to the basics. I always believe in keeping it to the basics. You start to see a lot of confusing things out there. It's really awesome for uh, some people, but for, for me, um, you that's, it's unnecessary, right? You push something, you pull something, you squat, lift something up off the ground. Pretty simple, actually. Um, it actually can be pretty hard to program because it's so simple, um, but... For me, I like to keep it simple. That's what we're gonna do today. Um, I'll try to shoot that video of the run. I thought it was really cool. Um, I was actually able to keep on topic with something for once, but it didn't work out. It's okay. So subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, click the bell icon for more notifications. I'll get this one out for you. And then hopefully tomorrow morning, we'll have something really cool um, as well. So we'll see you soon. So right here, we're just doing a squat hold. You can use the wall or just a normal squat hold. We're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. Now we have push-up holds, We're holding for about 20 seconds. Going into a plank, keep your hands relaxed, keep your back nice and flat. Lock your quads out here and squeeze your glutes. If you lock your quads, your hips should naturally align straight with your shoulders. Part of the series, we go into a lunge. Slightly bring your body, your upper body forward over your front knee and hold. And there you go. You're going to keep cycling through this. Modify as you need. Go longer, go shorter. You're just going for 10 minutes.
that's it. So we did 10 minutes, okay? 10 minutes of isometrics. I just picked a time as soon as I would start an exercise. So I started with squats, picked 30 seconds, then jumped down to push up holds, picked 20 seconds. Then we did T's, ISO T's, okay? Held another 20 seconds, sometimes 30, okay? Then we did planks, then lunge holds, and we cycled through. You can use the wall if you need the wall. You can hold longer, you can hold go shorter. I basically picked 10 minutes of ISOs, okay? So we just continuously go for 10 minutes. I started with the run. I think the run was about a mile and a half, okay? Finished with this. Gonna do a little cool down in the shower, all done. So again, tomorrow I'm gonna bring you something a little more, uh, hopefully on the meditation slash yoga side, and then we'll hit back on those workouts, all right? So take it easy. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.